Hi, I'm Al Milgram, and you're watching Three Men in a Basement. I don't know. Are you some creepy stalker or something? Yeah, right. well, Yo, stop that watching. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Otto coming to you live and direct from the Grotto, and we have a special guest. Zoe. Zoe's here. We haven't done this in a minute, but I want to do this CGC unboxing with you. Are you excited for this? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't been here in a while. Yeah, we haven't been here in a while. I know, I know. What was the last time you were around comic books? Mm, I'm going to say the... The swap. swap. And how did you do there? <laughs> Did the hashtag work? Yeah. Did the hashtag what? <laughs> Pay Zoe. Pay Zoe. All right. So listen. So I'm going to tell you a story. This is a one book CGC, um, one book CGC submission. We thought there were two, but there's only one. It's a book that I've been messing around. I might have shot myself in the foot when I did this. I might have really screwed up when I did this. But you know what? Trains go east, trains go west. I've had four copies of Batman Adventures 12 in my collection for almost five years, um, and I sold three of them. A couple of years ago, I did an on-site CGC submission, and I had the 9-4 cracked to get regraded to see if I get a 9-6 or better. Well, that failed epically. Oh. And because you know what happened? What? It was a 9-4. Well, guess what it came back at? Nine. A 9. Good answer. Very good answer. Yes. All right. Good. So, yes, it came back at nine. So, I took a hit on it. But you know what? You find things out in a while, and I found another one. But there is a situation that occurred. You know, Uncle Frank? Yes. Yeah. All right, he had a BA-12. Do you know why B Batman Adventures 12 is important? No. It's the first appearance of Harley Quinn. Oh. You like Harley Quinn? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Who's your favorite character? What do you mean? Like, favorite favorite character in comic books? Spider-Man. Okay, Spider-Man. Okay, good. All right, well, you dressed I'm up as Spider-Gwen once. Yeah, I was just about to say Spider-Gwen. Spider okay, good, good. All right, so, but Uncle Frank had an 8-5 that he bought, and he got it graded, and guess what it came back? He got it, he cracked it, Got it graded, and guess what it came back at? 9.8. 9.8, that's right. And Otto got a little jealous, I'll be honest with you. So I said, you know what? Let's see what I can find. So I found a, a nice one out in the wild, and oh, it was one wild. day we were sitting at the restaurant, and I was bartending, and Short Box Bernie came in, and I said, I think about buying this book, but I got to sell my other BA-12 for a certain amount of money. And he said, well, what if I gave it to you for this? And I said, well, it was about $150 less than what I wanted to put it on eBay for. So I said, okay. But I knew the guy at the comic shop had it for X amount of money. And I reached out and said, okay, if I can sell it to him for this right now, and maybe he'll take a couple bucks off that, and I'll be able to get it at a fair price, and I'll only be about $300 into this new book and the upgrade, if that makes sense, okay? So I had a 9.0, I sold it, which takes patience, I bought a raw one, but when I bought the raw one, I found something. It was very, very minute. It was on the back of the staple. It was a little itty bitty tear. And I was hoping that uh, I was hoping that nobody would notice, but it's noticeable. Um, and what am I gonna do? I can't go back to this. I could have gone back to this owner and been like, hey, I want my money back, but then I'd have to buy the book back from Pat. So I was completely committed on this adventure, right? So I was truly on a Batman adventure. Oh. Oh, did, what, just... That was my phone. Just... Oh, it was your phone? Okay. Yeah. It wasn't any comic books. <laughs> no. No, okay. So anyway, so I was on an adventure for a Batman adventure. So now, I don't think this is going to be a 9.8. I have to realize that I probably won't own a 9.8 because it's gone up to almost 2000 maybe $3,500. So it would take a lot of moving and hustling. I think I just need to be, I had, need to be content with whatever this grade is. So, but I'll be honest with you. I need it to be a 9.0. Okay? Yes. I need it to be a 9.0. I would like, like it to be a 9.4. If it's an 8.5, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm asked <laughs> out. I took a bad, I made a bad move. It wasn't exactly. a good business decision. So, um, all right. So we got this book today. Yes. Yes. And you've been very busy. Yeah. What have you been doing? You've been on vacation. No. We haven't been anywhere. Actually, yet. You went somewhere there with your mother spending money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And what did you get for dinner? I got sushi. Right, and I would have cooked dinner, but you said you had sushi, which was much more important and much more expensive than the grilled cheese I was going to make you. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, this is the this is Otto's Batman adventure for his BA-12. Okay, so what what grade am I going to be happy with? 9.0. 9.0. If it's a 9.8, you better watch out. Why? Because you're going to get mad. No, I want it to be a 9. What's going to happen? Oh, no, I thought you said 8. Oh, it's an 8.5. If 8.5, 8. I'm in trouble, right? Yes. All right, 9.8, what's going to happen? 9.8, uh -huh. 
<laughs> well, it's not happening yet. I don't have the book. I know, but I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen? A karate kick? Karate chop. Karate chop, right? The 9 point eight karate <laughs> chop. But again, I, I messed up. I, I didn't look this book over enough. Uh, and then the owner, you know, kind of agreed that he didn't think it would come back a 9 8. But, you know, I, I really leaped before I looked in this situation. I really, really did. But you know what? Five or six years back into this, I've gotten very lucky with a few things, and I've also got a, I've had some things go south. And I've always been honest with all you people about when my deals go south. All right, so Zoe is taking the book out of the wrapper. I'm okay. closing my Close eyes. eyes. <laughs> all right. Oh, <laughs> Tell me the book's in your hands. Yes, that okay. was not the book. All right. Okay. So ready? I'm ready. Let me see. The drum roll. Da -da -da. The drum roll. The drums are rolling. All right, is the book facing the camera? Yes. I don't feel, is this the label? Is this the grade? <laughs> no. Is this the grade? Yes. All right, so did Otto take a hit on this? Did he get a push? What's going to happen with, okay, 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 all right, all right, that's good, that's good. That's it, that's, so that's actually a push to where I was before. So I went from a 9.4 to a 9.0, back to a 9.4, spending $300 uh, in face value on this, so all right. So, oh, an off white to white page is so very ironic for a modern book. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> very ironic, but just a great cover. I like that cover. Yeah, you like that cover, right? Okay. Batgirl, Harley, and Poison, Poison Ivy. Ivy on the cover. You know, so just a great book. Show it to the camera, please. Off white to white page is so very bizarre, very interesting. But I mean, the book is. I can, what year did it come out? Let me see. Where did it say? It says right up there. Nineteen ninety-three. So twenty thirteen. So. You know, almost 30 years Where old. Where did 2013 so. from? Well, I'm saying if we went to 2013, it would be 30 years. Oh, oh. Right? So it looks 30. Years. Oh, my God. Harley's that old. So, okay. Um, so I took the hit on it, and it's right in the back part of it. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry for the glare. But I can see it. So so did the graders. But I'm happy. Let's see right there. See it's that? not that big. Yeah, I know, but it's still, that's what knocked it back out. But this book is pretty, though. So, first to hear out of commission, out of commission, continuity. So, BA12, back in Otto's collection. This has been Otto's Batman Adventure with Otto and Zoe. Zoe, where can I find you on social media, Zoe? I don't know. Exactly. What's the hashtag, at least? Pay Zoe. All right, that's a movement. Are you going to try that in Alaska? No. Oh, well, maybe you will. Maybe people know that in Alaska. You want to say hi to our friends? Hi. Who are you saying hi to? Um, um, Amy and Lou. Correct. All right. All right. So on behalf of Three Men in the Basement, this has been Otto's adventures for his Batman 12. So short box Bernie, it all worked out. Sarge's, it all worked out. Uncle Frank, I'm still chasing you on that 9-8. So on behalf of Otto and Zoe, we are Three Men in the Basement, and we are out. Peace. What? You just did three for Three. Peace. Three. Three. <laughs>